we have about two weeks left before our first guests come for the season. We have made enormous progress in the kitchen, but there's still a lot to do and we need to stay focused. So it wouldn't be the right time to make any major changes in the front garden or the back garden, especially not if it would involve heavy machinery. Nor would it be the right time, of course, to get a puppy. Protective earwear, eye protection, special trousers you can basically so into your leg and nothing happens. Stealth great uh, protective gloves in different colors. So if you cut your hands off, you know which was the left and which was the right. This hazelnut tree is massive. It grows very fast and hasn't been taken care of for quite a while. You can cut them radically and within two years it would reach the same height. So I'm gonna cut it down, not too much because Anna likes the privacy it gives us. I just realized the camera battery died. So you didn't see me cutting down the last tall branch. And that's a pity because it looked nice how it fell down in one big swoosh. And it's somehow a metaphor for life. You, you grow like this bush and you grow higher and higher. And then you want to reach the sky and you almost reach the sky but then inevitably, which might or might not be an English word, you fall. You fall and you die. But then like a phoenix from the ashes, you rise again at least that's what I'm going to tell Anna, so she doesn't kill me for cutting that bush. Okay, I also need to improve my chainsaw assembly skills. Maybe that little screw next to the exclamation mark sign was needed after all. trees have just arrived. I'm so excited, new trees. Philip, have you been shopping again without me? I have. <laughs> we said we replace every tree that we cut down with two new trees. No, that is exciting and it's good because we need to, we, ha we lost a lot of trees. We did. So what did you buy? <laughs> Many. Do, do you remember? Trees. It wasn't just random trees, I made a list and I know where they go. So we just need to dig 20 holes with a digger. So we need to call Jerome in again. But now unloading. And there's a beautiful Acer Palmatum, a big one. There is a Parotia Persica. It's a beautiful tree that goes down and they will all give beautiful color in spring. The opposite is? Autumn. Autumn. pour écarter un petit peu. Oui. Tout ça, c'est biodégradable. D'accord. Oui, donc on enlève même la ferraille, on peut la laisser... Euh... Oui, même la ferraille, on la laisse, oui. elle, se, elle se dégrade dans le temps. Oui, you see, because people complained last time when we planted the if that we should take that off, but actually, that should stay. I love the color. Yeah, there you go, there. What a nice selection yes. here yes, to keep do. us busy. We do. I mean, you're going to be busy planting now for the next couple of weeks. It's very exciting. Yes. yes. We just decided to ask Charles if we could have a look at our oak trees growing underneath the Christmas tree, if he thinks we can transplant them or not. So. Vous voulez les arracher quand Cette année Ouais, peut-être. Ou l'année, c'est un peu tard maintenant, peut-être. Ouais. Ouais, ce, ouais. ce que je vous aurais conseillé, ouais. c'est de mettre un coup de bêche. Oui. 
à peu près à cet endroit-là, d'essayer de retrouver euh, des racines. S'il ouais. y a des racines latérales, bien oui. sûr, oui. les couper. D'accord. Cette année hauteur, Voilà. Maintenant, ouais. sur Maintenant. Une de bêche. Ok. Comme ça, ils vont refaire des racines. Ah oui, d'accord. Ok. Et les arracher l'automne prochain. Les gros, ça vient aussi. Hein. Après, ce qu'on fait aussi, dans ouais. ces cas-là, ouais. c'est qu'on creuse tout autour. Oui. On fait une tranchée oui. avec la bêche de pareil de 20 cm. Oui. Ensuite on remet la terre autour. Et l'année prochaine vous aurez des petites racines partout dans la tranchée. Ah bah C'est un super conseil. Parfait. Vous avez euh, deux chances sur, euh, sur trois quoi. Ah oui. Et, ah ok. Oui, beaucoup plus facile okay. Après. Philip is never as happy as when he's out in the garden, but he's not really interested in indoor plants. I love the idea of bringing nature indoors, but unfortunately I'm commonly known as a serial plant killer. Luckily, there is a solution, and it comes courtesy of Skillshare, an online learning community who we are teaming up with for this week's ad. In case you don't know, Skillshare offer an incredible amount of creative classes. There are no ad breaks, and new inspiring classes are coming out all the time. I really enjoyed the class by Ekta Chaudhry, called Indoor Gardening, Grow House Plants, Veggies and Herbs. Ekta guides you step by step through the process of successfully choosing and growing houseplants and most importantly, keeping them alive. If like me, you love to learn new skills or maybe discover a new hobby, then Skillshare is the perfect place for you. The first 1000 of our subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial so you can get started straight away to get creative and inspired. Now, back to the garden. This is the very end of our field and it's exactly here that I want to plant three linden trees. And I believe that under these trees a bench would be very nice in the future so you can read and relax. It will take those trees about 200 years to reach an acceptable size, which technically makes me a very old man. But it's not a problem because I made the calculations and this moment coincides precisely with the moment when I have planned to be released from my cryogenic chamber inside the chateau, released back into gonville sur fleur which by then most likely is part of Greater Russia. Je pense pas que ce soit une technique reconnue par le ministère de l'Agriculture. Oui, <rire> on va réinventer la roue. Bah en fait, c'est comme ça qu'on fait des cachettes. C'est comme ça qu'ils ont inventé. Si vous voulez cacher un cadavre, ouais. c'est comme ça. Comme ça, c'est. Je suis sûr. Tu vois, ils ont fait ça. Ils ont planté un arbre. Et ils puis ils ont dit, pas. dis donc, regarde. Ça, on ferait pas euh, une voiture. Oui, c'est ça. This just gave me the idea to do a French lesson with Nathan, which exceptionally will also give you an insight in the early history of humankind. Nathan, l'histoire de l'automobile, première question à retenir. Euh, bah déjà l'automobile, d'où vient-il L'automobile, d'où vient-il <rire> C'est trop con. Ouais, première question à retenir, si on se penche dans l'histoire de l'automobile. Bah déjà l'automobile, d'où vient-il L'automobile, d'où vient-il <rire> Si on se penche dans la préhistoire de l'automobile, première question à retenir. Bah l'automobile, d'où vient-il L'automobile, d'où vient-il Deuxième question qui me paraît essentielle. L'automobile, Nathan, qu'est-ce que c'est Bah, c'est de l'auto, mais mobile. C'est l'auto, mais mobile. Et troisième question, ça sert à quoi l'automobile bah, Bonne question. Bonne question. Merci beaucoup, euh, Nathan. Je pense que là, on a, on a touché le fond ouais, de, a, de la question de l'automobile. On a répondu à des questions. Et je pense qu'on a rendu le monde un tout petit peu meilleur. Je pense aussi. Bravo. C'est magnifique. Je trouve que ça a totalement changé le paysage. On voit rien. Je sais moi non plus, je vois rien, mais on sait que c'est là. Et c'est ça qui compte. Ouais, c'est vrai. Voilà. C'est beau, c'est très beau. Today we need to change the whole planting scheme of this part of the lawn. One of the main problems here is that the shape of this bed, this very long and narrow bed, doesn't make much sense. It gives, it's not a nice display. We discussed this with Chantal and she came up with an idea to split this into two areas and one bed a bit larger here 
that comes slightly inwards here. So instead of moving away, pointing away from the shutter, it nicely encloses it. I'm very happy with the shape now. I didn't speak to Anna, I didn't ask her what she thinks, but why would I? I have Nathan here, he doesn't dare say anything. That's exactly the kind of support that I need right now. C'est parfait. And now I'm gonna transplant all the hydrangeas that are outside the line to replant them inside the line. Now we can place some of the new trees I bought and I'm super excited. And we need to place them and look if, if it looks nice. Uh, Nathan, tu me cherches uh, trois vanilla fraises, uh, le Fabulous Midnight Feather, deux, trois uh, seringa et les Cornus uh, Winterfire. Okay. C'est quoi en fait Des plantes. C'est quel type Bon, laisse tomber, laisse tomber. On va planter. Et pour une fois, on va pas se planter. C'est pour l'emplacement le, du chêne. Un peu plus là. Reste. Un peu plus là. Chêne. Tu peux faire un mètre vers là. Chêne. Oak. Un mètre vers là. Voilà. Quand tu fais le chêne, la prochaine fois, fais comme ça. Fais comme ça ou comme ça. Ça dépend du type de chêne. Ok. Alors là, c'est un chêne rouge. Quercus rubra. Si tu avais un chêne anglais par exemple, ça serait plutôt comme ça. Voilà, exactement. Oh, okay. Chêne français, comme ça. Parce qu'il pousse dans tous les sens. Mais bon, ça, c'est un niveau assez euh, expert. Fantastic, fantastic progress. Philip. I'm a bit nervous. Yep, we're home. We're home. We've got two very excited girls out there. Here we go. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.